This is a series about health news in a world with so many differing views. You're trying to clamber to find out what is true and to find out how to be you. Hello, welcome to Inside the Gap. Hughes, health news. Done a series one. Uh, thank you to Beat Freaks. That's in my channel. This is not a series two. <laughs> this is just a special episode. Just because I think it needs it. Um, it's for university students, but I think for any student, and probably you could stretch it to anybody going through this. Because we're on a change, something's changing. Right now when I record this on the 2nd of May, I have to think, no, I couldn't remember. <laughs> we are still in a lockdown. But it feels like things would be busier, things are going back to what they were a little bit. This uh, new normal. But I don't think you can have a new normal because normal is what it is. I don't know. And what you might be finding if you're a student or you're in work is you might have been on furloughed, you might be going back. But the issues arise when you though you then know that you're going back into something or you're having to still try and motivate yourself because you don't know. Because we don't know. Right now we are still in a gap. And so this is um, to say to you, if you, are, if you are in that position, this is hard. I'm not going to sit here and give you things and tell you how to live your life. Um, what I'd say is the motivation can be found in you. You have it. It's already there to, to cope with what's happening. Whether you're still in a lockdown, whether you're still not going into university or your college or you're not going into work. Or if you are, how do you cope with that? Well, I... This is honest. Because I think we still forget how impactful it can be and I said this to someone I said well isolation if you struggle with your mental health a lockdown is exactly what you feel in your mind when you go through mental health problems and struggles you feel like you're in a lockdown so it's kind of like we're all physically in the thing that if you have a struggle internally that's exactly what it's like you lock down and you shut down. Because you wouldn't say this to someone who's hurt their leg. Run on it now! But, but I can't. My leg's broken. You'd never do that. You can't say to someone, just get on with it. Or go with it. It's not easy. And sometimes it is about saying, well, how can I give in to this? What is happening now? To stay grounded and be able to not be affected by what you see and hear and sense So I give this special hues to say to you that a new normal, I don't know, but what I say to you is that even in that struggle, you have something in you. We all do, I think. And usually it's giving in to what's happening. 
trying to accept it and trying to help people as best as possible. Even when you get that thought probably of, I have no idea how to help. Connection, accepting, talking, expressing in however you feel best. So I hope this bit of health news, it helps me talking to you. I hope it helps you in some way. And if it doesn't, then that's okay. <laughs> But if you think it will help someone, pass it on. So you can find this shared on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, on LinkedIn. Keep connected, keep hopeful and keep safe. And I will see you again. Look after yourselves. And each other. Take care. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.